Yes. Hi, my name is Maria. Hi, how do you do? Good. I'm your, uh, I'll be your, medicine, your nuclear medicine technologist today, and we'll be doing your stress test. Okay. Can you speak up? I'm a little hard of hearing. Sure. Okay. Um, have you ever done a stress test before? Um, I don't think so. Okay. Um, well, your doctor has ordered a stress test, and it's going to show the, the blood flow to your heart. Okay. Okay. Um, do you know why he ordered this? Yeah, I was um, doing some yard work the other day, and I was just like really short of breath. And then I went to clean my pool, and I was like really short of breath again. So I figured I better go check, uh, you know, with my doctor and see what he says. And then he sent me to, uh, you know, Doctor Doctor No, and Doctor No says I needed to have a stress test. Okay. Um, well, I'm going to ask you a few questions first, and this is these are questions that we ask everybody. Okay. So you know, don't be alarmed if there's something that kind of pops up. All right. Um, are you a smoker? No. Have you been a smoker in the past? No. Okay. Uh, do you take medications for high blood pressure? No. How about um, high cholesterol? Yes. Okay. Do you know which ones? Uh, it's uh, simvastatin. Okay. Forty milligrams. All right. And um, are you are you diabetic? No. Uh, is there any history, uh, any heart history in the, in your family, mother, father? Uh, I've had a heart valve repair, repair back in 2004. That was about it. Okay. All right. So what the doctor ordered is um, called a pharmacological stress test. And what we do is um, we'll inject you with a radioactive tracer. It's a very small amount, so it's not going to uh, change the way that you feel. It's not going to hurt any kidneys. It's not a dye. And what we do is we'll start an IV in your arm. Okay and uh, then we'll inject you with the radioactive tracer and then put you under the camera for some pictures. Okay, now I'm allergic to iodine. There, there's no iodine here. Okay. okay. Is it going to make me glow in the dark? <laughs> no, it won't. Oh, okay. okay. That, that's extra. That costs extra. And then um, after that, we'll take you to the nurse's area and uh, that we'll set up the, the nurse's area. They'll have a, a bed there for you. Uh, you'll, have the, you'll have the nurse, a cardiologist, uh, as well as us, and they'll be giving you a medication called Lexiscan. Now, um, do you have uh, asthma? No. Okay. After, uh, when we give you the, the Lexiscan, it'll make you feel as though you're exercising without being on the treadmill, wow. or without walking or anything. Your heart might race a little bit. Uh, you might feel short, short of breath. Some people might get a headache. Some people might get a stomach ache. It just all depends. Uh, my neighbor had, had a test, uh, stress test, and he said he had to walk on a treadmill. Right. Well, this is not the treadmill part. We'll just do the medication part where it makes it feel as though you're walking on a treadmill. So sort of like exercise in a syringe? Right. Okay. And then uh, after they give you the, that medication, we'll also give you a second in, uh, injection of the radioactive tracer and then uh, send you back here for some a second set of pictures. Okay. So uh, do you have any questions for me? Um, so how's it going to make me feel with this this lex le what's it called? Lexiscan. Lexiscan. Right. So what it's going to make me feel like all tired and everything, or or what's it going to do? It it shouldn't make you feel tired. It just makes you feel as though you were exercising. It dilates the blood vessels to the heart. Oh, okay. And that way, it then the heart wants wants to pump a little bit faster to get that blood flow in there. And so it, when it works a little bit faster, it your your uh, breathing is a little bit faster as well. How, how long does that last? It, it should last only about a minute. Oh, okay. And then, you know, if some people, like I said, have headaches, if you have a headache or maybe a stomach ache, you can um, let either one of us know or one of the nurses, and they'll give you something like caffeine, you know, a soda or coffee or something. Oh, okay. And that should alleviate the headache and everything. All right, because I have, yeah, I'm starving uh, right now, so. Well, after the stress test, if, if you feel like eating, we'll, we'll, we can go ahead and give you something to eat as well. Okay. But that's after the stress test. Oh, okay. So before I begin, I would like to uh, verify your name and your date of birth, please. Sure. Todd Michael Connor, 1126-69. All right. Thanks. So if there isn't any more questions, we'll go ahead and uh, set it up. Okay. So was I okay to eat breakfast uh, you know, this morning? or? Um, no. When, when was the last time that you ate? It, it was last night, but I skipped breakfast. And I'm, I was wondering if I did the right thing. You or... did, yes. Okay. And you didn't have any caffeine this morning? No, not, not it's been 
yesterday morning I had a little cup of tea and that was it. Okay, any nitroglycerin patches on you or anything? No. Okay. No. All right, so if there's anything more? Any, is there anything more? No, I, I think that's it. Okay, we'll get it done then. All right.